All right, 2003 F-150 and getting that airbag uh, light now. You can see it there. <clears throat> so what it's gonna do, it's gonna flash. So there's two flashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's gonna repeat, so that was two flashes a pause and then seven and it's gonna repeat that uh, five times I think but what that's indicating is this little pastor airbag light this is where you can turn your pastor airbag on and off it has burned out so in the system checks this thing would normally come on This thing is an entire module. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you how you can fix this on the cheap. What you want to do is, you can find these at Walmart or online. Just grab a pack of Sylvania 74 Long Lifes. And there may be an, another bulb that works similar, but this is gonna work in here. Basically, I'm gonna pop this trim off. All right, this one you can pretty much just work your fingers behind it. All right, so back here, you're gonna find the wiring harness and just unplug it. And then, looks like we have just a few little screws there. All right, for life me, I can't figure out what size these are. I have, you know, I have standard and metric. screw out so there's three screws and simply lift the module off we'll take it inside of the workbench all right back here in the workbench we gotta remove this back plate I know where it kind of started just there's four tabs here you just have to carefully pry uh, these tabs down and get this case off hopefully I don't break it but uh, and if you do, I guess it's not the end of the world. You could always just put a few dabs of super glue there. Pull the little <laughs> panel out, and here is the little guy that's giving us all the grief. Now, this is a sleeve, and you, you want to take this little rubber sleeve off, and we're going to reuse it on the other light. Just carefully working off. Guess you don't have to be too careful. Not the end of the world if if you lose it, your light just will be instead of that orange yellow hue, just gonna be a brighter white. <clears throat> Alright, got the little Jimmy cap off. And out of curiosity, I'm going to give this a little inspection. Yep, kind of see where it's broken right there. Okay, so definitely a problem. Get the soldering iron out, heat these up, pull this bulb out. Alright, so put our new bulb through the holes and if it's uh, blocked you just may have to heat the other side up that solder up a little bit get it through go ahead and add a little this flux for reworks whoa just a little bit make sure this is clean Need a third hand. <laughs> All 
right, let's see if we can get a little bit of a close up here. Camera won't focus, I get too too close, but there it is. Let's go reverse the process and uh, get it back in the truck. Don't forget the little yellow sleeve. All right, got the sleeve back on. That was pretty tedious. Just had to slowly work it on there and try to, you know, hold that bulb so I'm not damaging any of my connections. And let's put this back in. Yeah, it goes that way. Slide this into the grooves. And make sure your bulb is lined up. Pop the plate back on. Make sure I get it the right direction. There is a square cutout that's going to go this way. There we go. Let's go plug it back in the truck, test her out. Alright, just got the panel pushed back in place. Just pops right in. Same way you took it out. Do a final test. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. This light should come on, and it does. So that's showing, you know, even if you have it, rear bag is on, this light's gonna come on initially and uh, then go out. Now if you have this switched off, it'll stay illuminated. More importantly, no more airbag light up here. I got my parking brake on there. Awesome, so 120 thousand miles. Boom.